In the next few years, the greater Seoul area will have commuter trains underground that are three times faster than the subway. These trains, called GTX, will be able to get people in and out of the city in half an hour, to and from regions that until now had been considered too far for a daily commute. Jung Eun-ju has the details. After 14 months of manufacturing, the first example of South Korea's GTX, a new type of high-speed underground train, has been unveiled for the first time. Short for Great Train Express, it has eight cars and looks similar to the subway. But the GTX is faster, so has a single door like the KTX high-speed train to reduce noise. The scheduled speed of the GTX, or average speed from its departure station to arrival station, including stop times and time spent with passengers getting on and off, is 100 kilometers per hour, three times faster than the regular subway based on the same standards. The tunnel was built deep underground, roughly 40 meters, so the tracks are straight. The cars were also streamlined to minimize air resistance. The manufacturer Hyundai Rotem says that new types of technology have been used to make the GTX safe and convenient. To prevent accidents when passengers get on and off, the doors have dual obstacle detection sensors, while a camera at the front of the train detects track abnormalities in real time. And the seats are 30 centimeters wider than those of regular trains. Once the GTX starts operating, commuting within the Seoul metropolitan area is expected to become easier. People who commute from Paju or Hwasong, Gyeonggi-do province, can get to downtown Seoul within 30 minutes and from one end to the other within an hour. I believe the GTX will revolutionize commuting and after-work culture. The GTX A-Line spans over 83 kilometers and runs from Paju in northern Gyeonggi-do province to Dongtan in the south. Some parts of the route will open in 2024 with 20 trains, while the rest will be fully operational starting in 2028. Hong Wenju, Arirang News.